Hello, five people of the internet who are listening right now, who I can call by name and know in person. What's up, cunts? So, fell off the gravy train a little bit. I'm putting videos out in a couple of weeks. What can I say? I'm a lazy cunt. Whatever. Uh, also, I'm sat on a wicker chair today because that's a new addition to my setup. It's actually just in the fucking room, so I pulled it up. Uh, there's going to be like some creaking and shit that's probably going to make it through the heavy post produ production that isn't going to fucking happen. So you're just going to have to deal with that. Uh, so, start with a little bit of a an anecdote for you cunts. Uh, last month, I did the no takeaway for a month because I have quite a lot of takeaways. So I was like, no, time to learn how to fucking cook all the takeaway shit that you want, whatever. So, sort of did that. Kind of, made it a few weeks in. Failed miserably. That's over. So this month I'm trying a no alcohol, which I love the sesh. I love I love going for a beer. I'm actually drinking water now. That's not a beer. Uh, I really fucking enjoy it. What can I say? Um, I like the sesh, basically. And so I'm like, well, for a month, I'll cut that out. I worked it out, it'll be like the first time in like 15 years that I've gone longer than a fortnight without introducing my pissed alter ego into my life. So... It's interesting. It's an interesting thing. I like not having hangovers, not losing days and shit like that. So, I order a takeaway. Just a random... Uh, I order a takeaway, and it's an Indian. Don't normally order Indian. Um, guy shows up. Well, it's been a long time since I've ordered Indian anyway. Guy shows up, as with my food. Turns out, this is the first time that this has ever happened in my life. I got free beer. They just give you free beer with Indian takeaways. I'm like, what the fuck? The month that I quit drinking, people come to my door with beer that I didn't fucking ask for. Just like, and uh, here is your beer, sir, which is possibly one of the most racist and stereotypical uh, impressions that I'm ever going to do. And I took it off him, and I sort of looked at the... Like I was looking at the camera and breaking the fourth wall, and I thought, Universe, you fucking little cunt. Like, are you taking the piss? And the Universe is sort of looking at Mike going, Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? And I'm like, no. So, that beer's still here anyway. I'm fucking... That's just floating around the fucking house, doing nothing. Um, A weird thing is... I've started, I'm actually having a fag now. I've started smoking a lot more. Like, well, I didn't used to smoke if I wasn't drinking. Now I've got out the drink, I just smoke pretty much all the time. I could still go like 10 hours in a day without smoking, but then I'm like, yeah, I'll just have a fag. So I've sort of replaced the addiction in a way. Not replaced it, because I did smoke anyway, and I go, I mean, I smoke like a trooper when I'm on the piss. So. You'll know that anyway. Um, so it's it's going well. It's going quite well, I'd say. I think I'm going to absolutely crush it. Which will be good for my life. Just to get a control over the... It's not an addiction, per se. It's what I really need to do is try having a few beers and then stopping. Like, cutting myself short, because if I start drinking, that's me going right through. I'm up for the sesh. I'll follow the beer to wherever it is. So it's not really... This is almost a fruitless endeavour, because I don't... I know that I don't need it. I've got beers in the house now, and I'm not like, oh, I could just crack one open. I mean, I easily could, but I'm just not going to, because that isn't the problem. The problem is 
knowing knowing when to stop because I can handle my beer and I'll just go right through and piss Sean comes out my dangerous and generous alter ego spends all my fucking money then I wake up the next day and lose an entire day of productivity like a cunt so moving swiftly on we'll get down to business shall we yes we shall so uh, Wednesday I think it was the Wednesday just gone, which will put us at like the twenty uh or twentieth twentieth of uh March. Yeah, that's right. Um there was a bit of a commotion down in Westminster on the bridge. You've heard about this shit. But I just thought I wanted to put some things straight on the subject because it's fucking utter well, it just a lot of things piss me off about this. Westminster Bridge terrorist attack. You know the thing. Guy ploughed through some people in a car on the bridge. Uh, stabbed a guy in the face or something. A police officer. Something like that. But saying that it's a... Uh, oh, yes. They're saying it's a terrorist attack. And the problem with mainstream media is that they don't give you enough information to make an actual decision by yourself they just tell you what it is and this is it and you shouldn't be able to think about it they don't give you sources or anything i mean fucking hell i'm not going to list you sources at the end of the fucking video but the urls will be on fucking screen if you really want to look at it it's all on the fucking internet just look it up yourself it wasn't hard to find you know what i mean but i think that we need to reclassify um terrorism or redefine its meaning more accurately because I say terrorism, you immediately think Islamic fundamentalist. You think, yep, yeah, it's the the fucking Muslims are at it again. It must, it's ISIS. Right now, it's ISIS. It's not Al-Qaeda, even though they're still fucking operating. It's now ISIS. That's the brand. And... The thing is, the thing is with the information that we got from this news story is that when it was out, people are fucking all online going ape shit. They're fucking everybody's losing the shit, losing the shit. You see in person, we didn't know at this fucking point. It's like it just says terrorist attack. We don't. This guy could be a fucking just a guy who escaped a fucking mental asylum, ran some people over, and fucking started stabbing people in the face. There's no fucking clue, but they put it out there without enough information they don't try and circumvent people getting the wrong idea they just put the sh the misinformation out there effectively because not enough information is effectively misinformation especially if you're not leaving sources so people can check it up themselves we need levels of which we can call terrorism because it was a i suppose you could call it a terrorist attack i think that has to have a cause i think that the meaning terrorism i think it has to be for a purpose or or maybe just to instigate terror but it's going to be for a greater plan of some kind i don't think that everything is about sorry i'm just drinking my water yeah so we need to redefine its meaning so that there are different classifications of terrorism like I don't think it, it needs a different name because there's a level like murder. If someone murders someone, it isn't terrorism. It's just a horrific act and it's illegal and it's it's crime on a fundamental level. It's just being a fucking dick. You can't you can't provoke the ideas that the media is provoking, such as racism and things, because that's what they fucking do. They they're inciting racism by by doing this. They're they're fueling it. They they don't give a fuck. They're not saying, oh, but we don't not like. Even if they just said, we don't know who it is. We don't know who's responsible yet. They don't do that. They just go, yeah, it's a terrorist attack. And then when they get enough information together, then they'll say that it's ISIS. But until they have it, they just let you fill in the gaps, which you will because if you only listen to mainstream media then 
that's the only bad shit the year round. They're the only bad guys right now. Like, maybe the Russians, but they're not doing anything. If it's a terrorist attack, it's ISIS. Very conveniently, there's only one terrorist group at a time. So, I think that needs sorting out. I think I propose that we call them cunts. I, I propose that, yeah, it's not fucking terrorism. It's just a dick move. Right, let's, let's get into it. I don't know which fucking page is open. Oh, right, yeah, so this is perfect. So, woman photographed on hij uh, in hijab on Westminster Bridge responds to online abuse. So, I, I don't know if you've seen this picture, but basically, she is... Um, let me make it bigger. Yeah. This girl, I mean, she, she doesn't look like she's having a fucking great time. These guys are all concerned. This guy particularly, and this guy... These guys aren't doing fuck all. He's like, fucking hell, I'm going to be late for work or something. He doesn't give a fuck... She's distraught. I mean, fucking hell. She's getting loads of shit, basically. You, there's, like, loads of posts up of shit saying, oh, this is the difference between uh, Muslims and Christians and shit like that. Fuck off. It's fuck all to do with that. You're not fucking not. What good is she going to do if she's not a fucking paramedic? She's on the phone. This chap here has enough fucking help right now, or a woman or whoever it is. They've got enough needless assistance, yeah? Because none of those people are doing anything constructive from this photo. So she's like, you know what, fuck it, I'm going. She's got loads of shit. Uh, Muslim woman shocked at those who draw conclusions based on hate and xenophobia after anti-Islam blogs circulated her image. So they're saying, you know, all this shit about her. Uh, let, let's read. A woman whose image became an Islamophobic meme after the Westminster terror, terror attack has told of her horror and distress at the incident and the abuse she, was, she suffered afterwards. Picture shows a woman wearing a hijab and looking at a phone on Westminster Bridge, which she's not looking at. She looks like, fuck it. She just looks in shock. So uh, I on Twitter and by anti-Islam blogs as supposed evidence of a lack of concern. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, this is the thing. One, one social media user posted it alongside a photo of the Conservative MP Tobias Elwood performing CPR on a victim with the caption, the main difference between Muslims and Christians, right? You know what? Go fuck yourself. Because what does it matter which fucking bullshit story you believe? What what does it matter in what way you're wrong? You just... Some people can't deal with high-intensity emotional situations, and they're entitled to not deal with those because they won't be helpful in those situations. Now, everybody here, some of them could just be nosy pricks, yeah? Some of them could know first aid. If she doesn't feel like she could help, I'd feel the fucking same. I'd be like, fuck hell, I can't help this chap. He's fucked. What am I going to do? He's been stabbed in the fucking face or something or run over by a car. He's clearly, like, no one's... It's a different story if no one was on the bridge and no one was attending to this person and she walked past. That's a completely different situation and that's what people are taking it as. It's fucking bollocks. Um, blah, 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 blah. I'm shocked and totally dismayed at how a picture of me is being circulated on social media. To those individuals who have interpreted and commented on what my thoughts were in that horrific and distressful moment, I would like to say that not only have I been devastated by witnessing the aftermath of a shocking and numbing terror attack, I've also had to deal with the shock of finding my picture plastered all over social media by those who could not look beyond my attire, who draw conclusions based on hate and xenophobia, which is absolutely fucking right. It's it's utter bollocks. Oh, there's this is the picture where she's looking at her phone. But I mean, fucking hell. You know what I mean? What are you going to do? This guy's just fucking blowing his nose, just like introducing loads of bacteria to the fucking wound. Yeah, good job, mate. Honestly, you fucking smashed it in both these pictures. At least you're getting on with the shit. Like, yeah, just taking a full step in that. It's just like, oh, yeah, I've got fucking... My nose is running. Oh, this fucking body stinks. Fucking twat. I mean, I don't... I just don't think that it fucking... makes a shit difference. Uh, Tell Mama, which is the, the site... Uh, or the fucking blog. I'm not sure what Tell Mama is. Let's, let's just find that out real quick. Tell Mama. UK... If it ever fucking was. Well, let's leave that alone. Seeing as fucking something's clearly downloading somewhere. Um, 
yeah, basically that that's some kind of news outlet or something. Uh, the woman was distraught that the use of the image has undermined the confidence of an innocent young woman who was also caught up in the melee after the attacks because she is effectively a victim. She is the fucking victim in this. I mean, this this fucker's probably dead. You know what I mean? Not because she didn't fucking help. She looks distraught in both pictures. That's the uh, photographer saying that. She looks distraught in both pictures, he said. She's in the middle of an unfolding horrific scene. I think her expression to me says that she's horrified by what she's seen. She just needs to get out of the situation. We're all being told to clear the bridge at various stages, so it's not unreasonable to think that she'd been told to leave the bridge at some point, just like everybody else. So she's just doing as she fucking was told. Um... Yeah, this this is the kind of racism that they're inciting with this, with this fucking constant attacking of like it's not even Islamic, you know what I mean? The things that these fuckers are doing, they are just being cunts. They're just making horrific dick moves all over the show, and it's not based on religion. Just because they're fueled by a religion and certain passages in it. Of which there are fucking plenty in the Bible. They're effectively the same fucking book. And if you, if you go through it and you take the certain um, passages that you want that say fucking incite violence and fucking smite those who don't believe or whatever, then you can pull whatever you want out of those books. That's why they're so popular because they're open to interpretation, much like the fucking media. But the thing is, how many people? I was at work. Like how many? I'll finish that sentence, shall I? How many people didn't look into it any further than the mainstream media? I mean, this is still mainstream media. This is the fucking Guardian. Fuck's sake, we're on the Guardian again. I just look like a fucking huge Guardian fan. I think every time I do this, I'm on the fucking Guardian website. Anyway. All right. Well, fucking tell mama's back. Yeah, fuck off. Measuring anti-Muslim attacks, right, okay. So this is sort of a, a pro-Muslim thing. All right, I'll have a look at that at some point. Fuck off. Um, I was in work uh, on the Thursday. So I happened on the Wednesday. I was in work Thursday, day after. There's these blokes came into work and they're talking about it. I overheard them. They said, uh, oh, yeah, we should kill them all. Just kill them all. Uh, excuse me, mate. Kill who? Because at this point, we didn't actually know who'd done it. We, well, we sort of still don't, but whatever. Who? Who are we killing? Everyone. Everyone ever, because I'm down for that. Like, just wipe humanity off the face of the earth. Yeah, fine, we're just a plague on it anyway. Like, just fuck us all off. Who, who are we supposed to be killing? Who? What? Muslims? So you instantly jump into that conclusion because of what? The mainstream media. Because the word terrorism was used and you directly associate it with uh, twat extremists because they're not Islamic. They're fucking they're just twats. Twat extremists is what we're going to use from now on. Um, what else have we got? I mean, this is, this is one. Uh, David Cameron called on the BBC not to use the phrase Islamic State when referring to the ter terror group in Iraq and Syria. Uh, yeah, the Prime Minister who calls the group ISIL, so this was in 2015, so this is fucking ages ago. Uh, the Prime Minister who calls the group ISIL said Muslims would recoil at the phrase being used to justify the perversion of a great religion, which is fucking fair enough to the dudes because they are not all cunts, you know what I mean? Just because most people have the fucking story wrong. You don't need to force that on other people anyway. Just how about every, just leave everybody alone. Um, gunman. I'm not even fucking attempting that name. Seyfedin Rezgui. Yeah, attempted it. Went fucking real bad. Did not go good that. Uh, Tunisian beach. Blah blah blah. There's nothing. There's nothing else in there. This can fuck up. But I mean, we could call them fucking what? What are they called? The fucking the Daesh or fucking ISIS or it doesn't matter what you fucking call them. Just they just call them cunts. 
to say all those cunts are at it again. Twats. Just... Like I say, it doesn't matter which fucking story you've got, which way that you've got it wrong. You just... Now, it's okay to put your ideas out there and fucking, like I'm doing, this This is what I think. By all means, come at me, fucking tell me what you think. But it's open to discussion. Open your ideas to discussion, which religion is completely unwilling to do and which is why I don't fucking like it. Cause you can't discuss it without it being like, I am fucking always right. They, they're just not going to budge because they have it written down and it's... It's all text-based, and this is everything. It doesn't matter if it's the fucking Jews or the fucking Muslims, the fucking Satanists. Who gives a fuck who it is? Why Why do we have this need to classify and categorise things in this way? I mean, that's a completely different fucking subject. You could search that shit up on your own. But, so these guys in work, this was the day after. If you have this, this attitude towards religion then it completely not not towards religion but towards terrorism and towards muslims it completely fits your bill of we should kill them all because all the news that you well the, you don't hear well what's this right so you don't hear the good ones you know i mean the terrorist attack at the Bridge of Westminster Parliament Square on Wednesday that claimed the lives of four people and injured 50 others was a shock to the city of London and the entire United Kingdom. However, one man was inside the Palace of Westminster during the attack, who was in the Palace of Westminster during the attack, decided to use the resources available to him to help those who were harmed. Mudassar Ahmed, a lifelong Londoner and practicing Muslim, started an online fundraiser through the launch site LaunchGood for the victims of the attack and their families. In two short days, they raised close to 30 grand, 23,000 as of this writing. Uh, I'm angry at the perpetrator, he said. I'm angry at myself for being so helpless and I'm angry at all my fellow Muslims. All my fellow Muslims can do is condemn the attack. Isn't there more? Uh, he continued to call a revised terrorist prevention strategy with an emphasis emphasised coordination with the British Muslim community, right? And we British Muslims need to be part of the new strategy because we all suffer when extremists strike and they fucking do. And I fully blame the fucking media for the way that they put it out because they don't hold back. They don't, like I said, they don't prevent anybody getting the wrong idea. They don't say, ah, hold your fucking horses, you racist cunts, because we don't know who it is yet. Like a normal person would. It was a thinking person. They don't fucking do that. They're just massive massive misinformation hogs about it they just they'll let you fill in the gaps and that's your fault because you fill in the gaps but they don't prevent that and they know how stupid their audience is and th they just don't help because that's why everything's dumbed down that's why they don't leave the references and stuff like that because you're too dumb to even want to check it up well well how about we idiot proof the news as well the information we actually give them how about we just put a fucking cage over that and re instead of getting the first the story out first let's get the story out intact and correct I mean I watched it I was just walking round the house while it was on TV during the hour that uh, I saw the TV the story changed three or four times, first it was like five gunshots then it was four gunshots and a uh, a car crash and there was just all sorts of shit. It was an absolute shit show. And it's like, you need to wait. Yeah, you could still have the breaking news thing, but we need the correct information at the time. And some of that obviously could have been eyewitness responses saying, oh, yeah, it was gunshots. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can confuse a gunshot with a car crash, whatever. You're a fucking retard. You sound fucking hella different. Yeah, I used hella. That's never happening again. That just felt wrong. So, what else have we got? Who was? No. Uh, the Prime Minister said the Islamist attack on Parliament was not Islamic and Islam is a great faith. Well, that, yeah, but that's not quite what I'm saying. I'm saying that we don't know if it's anything to do with ISIS. Not fucking... It, oh, it doesn't follow Islam. Islam's a great faith. Well, not fucking really. It's actually utter bollocks, but whatever. So, um, where's this one, I think? Um, 
Khalid Masood, which is a fucking interesting subject. The Westminster attacker snaps because of racism in his village and slashed the face of a cafe owner before being radicalised in jail. So um, this was previous. Uh, so Masood has been identified as the man formerly known as Adrian Elms. Right? So here's something that I don't get. We're calling him Masood. We're calling him Khalid Masood, and like that's the first thing that you see, which is also that's another way of inciting uh, racism because he has a name that's clearly Middle Eastern. Uh, this guy's called Adrian Elms, and I think that that is how he should be referred to because is this a legal name change? Like he's he's been radicalized and he's like he's got an Islamic name, which I looked into. Uh, Khalid Masood, we've got it here, is Khalid means immortal, deathless, or eternal, and Masood means present or obviously. So it means obviously deathless, obviously immortal, presently immortal, presently eternal, whatever. However you want to fucking align those, probably about 3,000 variations that you could do of those. I mean, he's not fucking, he's, I think he's obviously not eternal because the cunt is dead now. Oh yeah, but he's gone on to fuck Lord of Virgin. No, he fucking hasn't. He didn't, this guy didn't really get the fucking ball rolling for the movement, did he? He didn't really change a lot of things. He made a lot of people hate Muslims more. Now that he did do it, if that's what they fucking want, then, which seems like a bad strategy if you're trying to take over the world, like, to get everybody to hate you. Surely, like, uh, a company like Apple have a better idea where everybody loves your products and, like, they have more of a chance of taking over the world. They've almost fucking done it, really, you know. Uh, that's a miles better strategy than making everybody hate you and hate the innocent people in your religion. I mean, all, all you're doing is getting fuel for your fire so you can fight more. Fucking hell, if all you want is a fight, join the fucking UFC or something. The UFC with guns. I guess that's just, like, paintball. Go paintballing, guys. That's, that's my... Uh, thing so well where were we this one so uh adrian elms we're not calling him masood anymore we're calling him elms uh history of violent knife crime went off the rails in july 2000 slashing a man across the face after an argument that had racial overtones which you don't know enough about again what 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 do you mean what's a fucking racial overtone the attack would land him in jail in his life Already in a fragmented state, would fall apart. Another attack three years later, he stabbed a man in the nose before reportedly travelling to Saudi Arabia. Reported by whom? Again, references, please, guys. Just a little number there. Or like a little reference number where at the bottom I can just scroll down and check that shit out. Extraordinary revelations will cause deep unease. Don't unease, God. What was that word? Elms. Uh, or the Islamic name he adopted, which isn't a legal name change. It's just, so his name is Adrian Elms, but that doesn't fill you with enough racist rage. So they have to call him by Masood. Uh, known to the authorities as a vicious thug whose violent extremism had brought him to the attention of MI5. Yet at some point, a decision was taken that he was no longer considered a threat. Well, anyone who stabbed someone in the face, I would always consider a threat. Um... On Wednesday, having stayed the night before the attack in a hotel in Brighton, why does it matter that it's a cheap hotel? God, like, you, you give me that that's a cheap hotel, but you don't tell me who reported that he travelled to Saudi Arabia. You are fucking assholes, MSN News. Oh, no, it's the ter Telegraph. Terragraph. A little bit of, um... Chinese English. Englees. Yeah, whatever. Uh... I'm off to London today, he said, as if he was a tourist. Well, he might have just said... he could. Have, I could say I'm off to London today to live there. Doesn't fucking matter. Whatever. I'm going too far into how this is bullshit. But you see where I'm coming from. There aren't enough... It's just not enough information. This isn't an important bit of information. Uh, mother was white, father was black, so he's just half cast. Right, great. We need to know that his father was black. Masood was 35, lived in Sussex, slashed a cafe owner in the face with a knife. Uh, his young family ostracised in the village, Masood. Fuck off, it's not Masood, it's Elms. Elms lost his temper and slashed the seat covers in Mott's car. What the fuck? Whatever. 
So ha Hall Crown Court heard that the attack left Masood and his young family ostracized in the village. He had been in conflict with his victim before. After leaving the pub in which he argued with his victim, Masood lost his temper and slashed the seat covers of this other guy's car. When Mott arrived at his car, the guy waved a knife at him. Elms waved a knife at him. And he needed more than 20 stitches. Uh, so this is just about the old one. But I just don't... You see the shitstorm that's created... That's like they they're just fueling it. They're creating a divide, and it's all they fucking care. Like, it's almost it seems like all they care about. It's just everybody wants to use Masood because it fits the bill and it fits the the current model that they've built of what terrorism is. Well, they always have these Eastern names because it's too complicated for you to understand that they could be called Adrian Elms, which is quite terrifying. That they could just be a normal fucking guy. But this guy, we still don't have the references to say that he was part of ISIS. Apparently ISIS have come forward and said that they are taking responsibility. But surely, I don't, I've don't. i never understood how they can do that. Because that's like me ringing up and saying, yeah, that was me, that. And they're like, no, it fucking wasn't. You weren't even there. You were hundreds of miles away. And I'm like, yeah, fair point. You got me. So you can't just say, yeah, that was us. Because that's just jumping on the bandwagon. Because you don't actually have enough... Um, what would you call it? You aren't competent enough. Yeah, that's it. Because you aren't competent enough to make something, uh, to to actually organise a terrorist attack. You don't have the organisation. That's the word I was looking for. You don't have the organisation to pull off a terrorist attack. So anything bad that happens, someone stubs their toe and you go, yes, that was me. That was terrorism. Yes, I fucking got you. And it's like, well, you didn't. I just fucking stubbed my toe. I wasn't watching where I was going. It was completely unrelated. And the need to tie up all of these loose ends. It all need. We need a better fucking way of doing this. Because if they if they use the excuse that they don't understand that they're inciting this racism or fueling it, then they are too stupid. To, because everyone can see it. I can see it from looking at it for five minutes that they're inciting this. Every story that they bring out, they make sure that you know if... You don't necessarily know, or it's not as urgent to know, if it was just a regular guy, someone who broke out of a fucking mental asylum or whatever. I was just having a bad day and thought, you know what, fuck it. Just because he was on Me Westminster Bridge doesn't make it a terrorist attack. It doesn't mean he was going to Parliament. Shit tons of... Millions of people use that bridge every day. That doesn't mean it's a terrorist attack. It doesn't mean it was going for Parliament. Which, by the way, if it was going to Parliament and he was just a regular fucking guy, chances are I, I'm i not going to lose my shit and kill any other fuckers, but I could probably be as pissed off with them as... And if I was mentally unstable, then, yeah, I could fucking go down there and lose my shit. Fucking Guy Fox the shit out of it. You know what I mean? Little bastards. They're just robbing cunts. So yeah, yeah. They, oh, they fucking charge me too much for my uh, my council tax. You know what? I'm gonna fuck these fuckers up because this is the last straw. I could get on side with that. But if if they don't understand that they are a fueling source of racism, and they might put it down to you and say, well, that's because you're racist and you shouldn't be looking at it like this. I'm not fucking racist, and I can see a mile off that they are preferring to use Masood over his actual name. That is their preference. I think. But but they won't... You don't see this. You, you don't see this in the men, men news. I mean, I'm not actually sure how, how big Red Alert is, uh, Red Alert politics. But it's not mainstream, it's not on your TV, saying Mudassar Ahmed, who is, that's his actual name, he doesn't have another English name and wasn't born in Kent. He is a practising Muslim and he's raised, th raised 30 grand for the families. Well, what a fucking guy, why isn't that out there? You know, just to put a bit of a, a just put the brakes on the racism for a bit and just go... Also, they are doing good shit, guys, rather than going, yeah, they're fucked. And the, basically giving fuel for these guys who come into my work and say, we need to kill them all. Well, if it was widely known that 
also, most Muslims aren't like that, and not just saying that, give them evidence of that, and say, well, here, they've raised £30,000, £23,000, whatever, for this cause. If that was equally as mainstream, then it would be instantly counteractable to say, well, what about the good things that they've done? It's just fucking... It's just unreal, ridiculous, and fucking stupid it's one of the the most closed it's not closed minded these these people shouldn't be making the news because it's just propaganda they want you it all fits in a certain paradigm of how you should view the world and then you look anywhere else you start looking into it i mean it took me what half an hour to get all this stuff up and this isn't looking into it a lot but how many people aren't going to look into it at all because their only source of media should be one of the biggest, which is any television media, BBC News, things like that, CNN, well, you look at that, you think, well, this must be accurate because they're so big. So I must be getting all the sides of it, but you're not. You're getting a heavily politically biased and money-operated organisation that's fucking run off clickbait and fucking... I mean... I'm off to London to... No, there's not... Future school announced. Prince George's future school announced. I'm look I'm actually looking for something that's really clickbaity. UK is set to be hotter than the Canaries. There's one. You know what I mean? It's all sensationalism and it's all fucking bollocks. <sighs> so, I'm glad I got that off my chest. And I wish I could end on a lighter note, but I really didn't prepare anything for after this. This was actually going to be a fun... A fun episode about um, paradoxes and something cool like that. But obviously, with it happened in a previous episode, the Black Plague episode that never happened, I can often name things that are going to happen that will never fucking happen. So don't hold your fucking breath. But I'll try to do a paradoxical episode in the future. But until then, it, I'm just leaving you with this shit storm. Uh, I guess fucking let. Let me know if you think I'm right or wrong in any places. Remember, guys, don't be a cunt. Take it easy.